Hi everyone, this is Hebba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be sharing all the new kits and stamp sets that released at the Kelly Perky shop. Today is February 28th, 2019. So there's a lot of products to share, but before I start, I wanted to let you guys know that there is a new subscription kit, and it's a stamp subscription, which is awesome. You guys know how much I love Kelly Perky stamps. So if you are interested, I will add the link for the shop down in the description box for you guys, and you can go and check it out and how it works. But literally, the stamp set that comes with the main kit now you can uh, start a subscription kit and get the, only the stamp as your subscription kit, if that makes sense. So you're not getting the cards and the stickers and the alpha stickers and all that good stuff. So you'll just end up subscribing to that stamp that releases that month. So anyways, uh, enough talking. Let's go through these really quickly. Like I said, there's a lot for me to share today. Now we're going to start with the main subscription kit, which you get the 3x4 cards and the 4x6 cards and the stamp set. Now I have to say that the stamp that comes with the kit is gorgeous. So if you want to start a subscription kit, I definitely recommend it. Now this kit is called Tag Your It and you can create your own tags. I love this stamp set. I love tags. As you guys know, I like to use tags on my spreads a lot. So to be able to create my own tags is going to be perfect. And there's actually a coordinating stamp that goes with this tag stamp. So I'm going to be sharing that in a bit. But you get this beautiful 4x6 stamp. Move this out of the way. You get some label stickers and these beautiful coral alphas. So let's go through these real quick. It's all black and white, the B side, which is awesome. I love my black and white. A lot of space to journal. Love the colors. Very, very pretty. So you can see um, if you just want the stamp set, I would subscribe to, oops, I would subscribe to the stamp set, but if you love Kelly's cards, and all of these are, like I said, black and white, I love this. Um, but if you love the cards, definitely just stick to your main kit subscription. And of course, there's still the Traveler's Notebook subscription, and there's always a little um, mini kit. So that was the main kit. Let's check out the mini kit real quick. So this kit is called Little Details. Love that smiley face you have today. This is everything here, details, little box that you can fill out with location, weather. Um, and then they have the story is in the details. Love this so much. Little rainbow, sunshine, really cool little stamp set. You get some stickers. Alphas in blue, very pretty pale blue. And some three by four cards. Either you could create a little mini album or add them to your Project Life album. Whatever the case is, you can never get enough of these 3x4 cards. I love 3x4 cards. I think they work perfectly to layer your photos. They work perfectly for your Project Life album. And also, they're just great. You can create these little mini albums using your 3x4 cards. So that's the mini kit. So let's go through the stamp sets that released today. These are all add-ons, so you can purchase them separately. This is the stamp set that I was talking about that coordinates really well with the main kit tag stamp set. And this one's called Tag Your Et Extra. And what you can do is kind of stamp these inside your tags and make your tags kind of unique and special for to you. Um, I love this Monday through Sunday because you can stamp that on your tag and kind of journal about your week. You can add a little label to your tags, numbers, uh, little strips where you can journal on. So that one's really perfect. It goes really well with the tag stamp set from the main kit. This one's called OK Ladies. Love these roses. Oh, please embrace it all, woman. Uh, girls support girls support girls stronger together. Okay, ladies, now let's get 
information. So I really, really love this. this is adorable. You guys know I love anything that has to do with girl power. And this one is adorable. This one's my favorite. And this one is called Wonderful Woman. Love the stamp set, you guys. I can't even tell you how much I love the stamp set. I can't wait to use the stamp set. Like, honestly, it's one of my favorites, I think, from all of Kelly's stamps, which is pretty big. But this is adorable, and I can't wait to use it. I am so excited about that one. I know I've said it a million times, but it is one of my favorites. This next one's an alpha stamp, and this one is called Park Slope. And um, this one's bold, large, and beautiful. I love using large alphas on my traveler's notebooks. This one's just so gorgeous, and I can't wait to use it to add some titles to my spread. So these are the stamps that released today. And let's move on, last but not least, our traveler's notebook kits. So I'm hoping to use this today in my process video, and if you wanna see how that one turns out, just keep watching. You get your alpha stickers, labels, the papers this month are just beautiful. There's a lot of like that purpley blue. Really love that. Love the now and then. I would totally add some pictures there. You got your doubles, of course. Very subtle colors. Very bold also. Really beautiful papers. And then you got the little stamp set, the three by four stamp set. It has the now and then, that is so cute. Um, throwback, do you remember the time? And special memories, yesterday, today, tomorrow, once upon a time, very cute uh, stamp set to document either your throwback Thursday photos or your now and then. So I'm really, really excited about that, especially now that there's this, uh, what is it called, the Facebook thing that's going around, the hashtag. I'm not really good at Facebook, but that's going around. I think it was the 10 year hashtag. So that one would totally work to document those. But anyways, that is the Traveler's Notebook kit and all the rest of the kits and stamp sets released today. I'm gonna grab them real quick. So you got all these kits to choose from, the stamp sets, the main kit. I'm really excited about everything that released today. They're just gorgeous and beautiful. And like I said, there's a new subscription kit, just the stamp. So if you want the stamp set and not the whole kit, definitely subscribe to that. Um, a lot of people ask me if they could just purchase the stamp and now you can. So definitely go check that out. I will add a link down in the description box for you guys. But anyways, let's start working in my traveler's notebook to document a few things and um, use some of these beautiful stamps and kits to create my next spread. Okay, you guys, let's start working in my traveler's notebook. Now, I decided beforehand that I wanted to use this blue pattern paper with the two boxes that had now and then. I thought it would be cool to use a photo of myself today and a photo of myself when I was younger, much, much younger. And I did change the, both uh, photos into black and white so they can kind of match and not be all over the place. Especially that photo of myself when I was younger, it's not the best quality, so uh, switching it to black and white really helps with that. Now I went ahead and stuck down my photos. I'm not adding a lot of layers. I just want to kind of focus on using my kit. I wanted to share with you that if you are just purchasing the subscription kit and not purchasing the add-on kits or the add-on stamp, sorry, that you can still create something really beautiful with the stamp set and the papers. You always get these labels and alpha stickers, so you don't need much to create something beautiful. Now, something I really love doing is stamping my phrases on white cardstock, fussy cutting them out and using them as embellishments. I'm gonna end up using these as layers for my photo, embellishments for my photos. I even love using my label stickers and using this red label is really gonna add a pinch or a pop of color to my spread, especially that my spread is so blue and adding that red is gonna look really, really pretty. I end up using the label, just tucking it behind my photo and it adds a little something, a little color and layers my photo. 
So definitely use your stamps as embellishments. I even used my stamp as a title. I stamped out now and then. I actually add to my title in a bit because I felt like my title was kind of floating. It needed something. So I will go into my embellishments. I end up adding a little puffy red heart. This is going to help balance the red on both sides of my spread. And I'm also going to stamp out the throwback stamp next to my title. I love these like block stamps. They're so cool. Um, I especially love stamping them on white cardstock because they really, really pop. But I thought I could just go ahead and stamp it right next to my title because my background is really subtle. So the words are going to pop and it's going to look really, really cool. I'm really in love with this throwback stamp. Now at this point, I feel like I need to add another label in red just to balance the top and bottom part of my photos. So I'm gonna stamp out this circle stamp. I believe it said back in the day and I'm going to stamp it in a circle label and then add that to my photo. Um, that way, like I said, it's going to balance out the right side really nicely. And I think the right side is looking good. I don't think I'm going to add anything else there. But I do remember that I have these circle acetates or transparency embellishments from an old Studio Calico kit. And I remember them because they were in blue. And I thought to myself way back that I will never use these because I never really use a lot of blue on my spreads. So I thought I should go looking for them and add them to my layout. Now, just by adding these circle acetates to my spread is really going to help bring in that blue to the left side. I love it. I love that they matched perfectly with my paper. Honest to God, this was not like planned. And I love that. I love when things like that happen. They're also going to ground my stamping because yes, I'm still going to be stamping. I love the stamp set. So the more I stamp from that stamp set, the happier I am. I'm going to end up stamping like little words like uh, or little phrases like once upon a time, the good old days. And when I stamp them, I'm going to actually let them kind of peek out from behind my circles. This is why I decided to actually use my stapler instead of sticking them down with some tape because I can move the circles easily and you're going to get to see that in a bit. And also because these papers are going to be stuck down in my traveler's notebook so you won't be seeing the backside and you won't be seeing the backside of my staples. Now I really love how this turned out. Um, everything came together nicely. I was able to just focus on the stamp set that came in my kit. And I really wanted to share with you how you can just use one stamp set to create a very fun and beautiful layout. And just use your kit. If you are not one of those people that are buying all the stamps that release and you are just getting your subscription kit, I really, really hope this was uh, inspiring to you and helps you create something fun with your kit. But anyways, I believe I'm almost done. All I'm going to do at this point is grab these papers that I created or these this layout that I created and end up adding them and sticking them down into my traveler's notebook and I call it done. Don't forget today's release day at the Kelly Perky Shop. I add all the links down in the description box for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.